Hey guys, this is Attainment here, Doran Love, and welcome back to another episode of 2020 backslash 2021 NFL season predictions. Last episode, we did the divisional round of playoffs, and today we'll be doing the championship games. Before we do that, let's go over how I did for the divisional round. Now, I got all of the games correct, except one. So going with the AFC side, the Bills did beat the Ravens. It was a very defensive game. The Bills' defense looked great. Um, you know, unfortunately, the Ravens lost as a Baltimore fan. But the Bills move on to the AFC Championship the first time in a while. And the Chiefs did beat the Browns in a really great game. Patrick Mahomes goes out with a concussion. Chad Haney comes in, and he has that fantastic game-winning play. So the Chiefs and Bills will be in the AFC Championship game. I will say, though, it's so impressive how the Cleveland Browns were one game away from the AFC Championship game, and they were in it till the end. I mean, I just think back to five years ago where the popular thing was to just joke about the Browns being bad, but they're a good team. So that was just a really great game. Also a pretty great game, this Buccaneers Saints won. Tampa Bay did beat New Orleans. If this is Drew Brees' last game, thank you, Drew. Um, I have a feeling it might have been that end of the game with him super emotional. And then the Packers did beat the Rams. So, um, yeah, I got most of these correct. So that'll give us the championship games, which are probably some of my favorite in a while. I feel like that these two games, there's so much going on. Alrighty, so looking at the AFC championship game... You have the battle of the two young quarterbacks, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. I think this is going to be an excellent game. I think this is going to be a really good shootout game between two really great young special teams. However, in this game, I'm taking the Buffalo Bills, and here's why. So you look at the Bills. Their offense is incredible. They have a really great offensive line, and that's, I would say, one of the uh, Kansas City strengths. Their defensive line is pretty nice, and I think the Bills can counter that well. And I don't see anyone in this Chiefs defense to really contain Stephon Diggs, the Bills wide receiver. Yes, Tyron Matthews great at safety, but where does he go? And when you don't have to worry about Stephon Diggs, then you have John Brown, Cole Beasley as wide receiver, Dawson Knox at tight end. There's so many people that the Bills can have that I don't think the Chiefs have that number one defensive back that can carry them or that can cover them all the time. You look at the Chiefs offense, they also have a lot of playmakers. Tyreek Hill, McCole Hardman, Travis Kelsey, Le'Veon Bell, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. You know, the list goes on. It's insane. Two fantastic offenses. However, I think that the Bills have Tredavious White. They have more of these defensive pieces to stop the Chiefs' offense. With that being said, I do think this game is incredibly close. The Bills are looking fantastic. Their offense played really great against the Colts in the wild card round, and then we saw their defense come to life with the Ravens game. So we've seen two games that have been a complete performance. With the Chiefs, they're a great team, and if they go to the Super Bowl and win it, I will not be surprised. I just think you look at the Chiefs, and the past couple of games, they've had some moments where they've been a bit down on offense, and they've had some turnovers, and I think that that is something Buffalo capitalize on. I think this will be a very high-scoring game. I'll probably take the Bills 34-28. to 28. I could even see both of these games even going into overtime. So I have the Buffalo Bills winning this game and going to the Super Bowl. I'll love it if either of these teams did. The Bills have not been to the Super Bowl in a while. And plus that the Chiefs got there. Patrick Mahomes is so fun to watch. But that is what I am going with. Also, I assume Patrick Mahomes is playing. He's out of concuss concussion protocol. Um, that's what I'm, I'm going with. Um, and if Chad Henney ends up playing and starting for some reason, I'm still, you know, going with the Bills. And I think even with Henney, I, okay, so if Mahomes starts, I'm going Bills 34-31. If it's Henney, I'll go Buffalo 32 Chiefs 23. So I think it's close no matter who starts. I think this is going to be an excellent game. You then go to the NFC side. 
So we have the two young quarterbacks, and then you have the two veteran future Hall of Famers, Tom Brady in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus Aaron Rodgers in the Green Bay Packers. The Battle of the Bays, Tampa Bay, Green Bay, Buccaneers, Packers. This is going to be a fantastic game. And I think what's interesting is that both of these games happened earlier in the season. In the Chiefs-Bills games, uh, Bills won. And with the Buccaneers-Packers, the Buccaneers won. This is tough for me because I can see a multitude of things happening. There's reports that the game's going to be very snowy, very cold, and chilly. And I could really see them messing up the throwing mechanics of the Buccaneers. You know, Tom Brady has had some snow games in his career for sure, but are the rest of his playmakers used to it? I don't think so. Well, I think Aaron Rodgers, you know, he's used to the snow, and he had that really great Titans game uh, week 16, I believe, or somewhere around there this season. But then you also look at, okay, well, you look at the Tampa Bay defense. Devin White, Levante David, Antoine Winfield, Vita Vea, all these fantastic young defensive players who have been really great this season against a really good Packers offense. And you also look back early in the season where the Buccaneers really got the best of Green Bay. Those are all true. However, the Packers, I think, have gone a lot better since that time. I think they've learned a lot, and I think it was super impressive of them coming out and being the Rams how they did. Their Rams game, it was a great win. And I think that really showed to them that, hey, this team has great momentum, and they can really build on it. You watch the Packers play. They have people stepping up left and right, and I just think Aaron Rodgers is playing super well at this moment in time. For me, I'm going with the Green Bay Packers in this one. This is a coin flip. I honestly could see either happening. I just hope we get a fantastic game. The first time we have Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers in a playoff game, it has been super hyped up for a great reason. And I think that it will be a really good game. I could see both of these games going to overtime. So those are my predictions. I'm predicting a Bills-Packers Super Bowl. Really, all four possibilities I would like. I think... Whether it's Packers-Chiefs, Packers-Bills, Buccaneers-Chiefs, Buccaneers-Bills, each of them have great storylines and would have great matchups. This is the first time, oh, last year had some unique matchups, but the first time in a couple years where all four matchups would be great. I'm just hoping for a good NFC Championship game because recently they've been kind of blowouts. Um, the only competitive ones we've had recently was Rams-Saints, but you had the whole, you know, flag scenario and then before that you go back to 2014 Seahawks Packers so it's been a while I'm just hoping we have two fantastic games thank you all so much for watching one more episode of this probably two I might do a season recap here but those are my predictions I'm super excited to see how this goes until then this is my time and doing well take care and bye-bye